What's happening good people? Welcome to the channel. I'm Wes aka Mr Budget Watch and today I'm going to be attempting my first ever watch mod. Uh, so, as you've seen by the title, I'm going to be modding a Casio F91W and I don't know if this has actually been done before, so this is probably going to be a very, very bad idea and is likely to fail. So, just bear with me, this is my first ever attempt at even doing anything like this. So, if it goes really bad, then feel free to have a laugh at me and if it goes well, then, you know, it goes well. Anyway, uh, quick wristwatch check, I'm actually wearing the Draco, very very nice uh, watch, a review of this will be on the channel already. So yeah, really nice watch if you want to check that out. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to be doing is modifying this with parts from this. Now you might be thinking, why am I doing that? Well actually check out this video and you may see why. So anyway, I'm not going to uh, say any spoilers yet, but what I've got to do is dismantle uh, both these watches and then, uh, yeah, so I think first things first, we have to take the uh, straps off. So this is not a tutorial, by the way, this is just me, um, you know, at attempting uh, a mod. So that's the uh, skimmy strap. Uh, which side does this pop out at? I presume it's this side. So let's uh, pop this off. So again, this is not a uh, tutorial. Um, this is just me uh, attempting to think. So I think we have to take these four screws out, if I'm right. So uh, these screws right here, I think we have to take those out. So now we uh, bust out these screwdrivers. Uh, this is a really good little kit as well. I'll, uh, I'll link this uh, in, the, uh, in the description if you want to check it out. So I don't know what actual size we need. So we need a Phillips. Let's try that one, that's no, too big. That one looks about right. So uh, first things first, we've got to get these this case back off. So I'm just using a uh, 1.53 to take the uh, case back screws off. So I'm gonna leave all the skimmy parts to one side. So yeah, guys, I'm actually <laughs> quite nervous about doing this. I've never, uh, attempted anything like this before, but I thought, why not start with something, uh, well, hopefully simple, because I do actually want to get into uh, actual uh, watch modding at some point and building my own watches. So I thought, why not, uh, you know, do something um, and attempt, you know, attempt this. Maybe not a good thing for my first one, but right, I don't know if I've got any, uh, I've got some little players here, see if that'll, uh, no, oh, I need some tweezers or something. Let's unscrew it a little bit more. Right. Nope. Oh, hang on. There we go. Right. So that's the case back off. So that's that one off. So I'm just going to cover this over and then I'll uh, get started on the Casio. Right, guys. So I've uh, covered the uh, skimmy up. That's all I had to hand. Yeah, <laughs> not tell a lid. Uh, yeah, it's a bit janky, I know, but anyway, so we've got that off, the skimmy's under there, it's just so it don't get any uh, dust in it or on. Uh, now what we're going to do is just take the case back off the F91W, so it's basically just the same as thing, uh, the same screwdriver. Uh, and I'm going to put the Casio to a different side so I don't get the uh, parts mixed up. So, uh, yeah. So have you guys any, uh, you know, attempted any mods before? Let me know down in the comments. Uh interested to see if uh, you guys are into watch modding and stuff like that because like I said it's something I really want to get into but um, you know uh, something I've uh, been too scared to attempt I thought why not start off with something you know quite inexpensive that way if it does break I'm not you know throwing uh, loads of money away at it so uh, yeah that's why I thought why not start with a you know simple mod and hopefully I can work my confidence up and uh, you know, do something a little bit more, uh, yeah, a little bit more high-end, I guess. Right, so that's that. So that's the back of the uh, Casio. We've actually forgot to take the strap off, which I should have done first, so I'll uh, just do that quickly. Let's just uh, pop this off. That's the, uh, and obviously that's not the uh, standard strap. I'll link that in the description as well if uh, you want to check it out. This is a uh, just a cheap 
silicone um, strap off AliExpress, but it's actually really comfortable on the uh, F91W. So, uh, yeah, take that out and put that to one side. So I've just watched this tutorial and it looks like I have to take this uh, seal out first. So um, I'll just carefully do that without hopefully breaking it. Right, there we go, that's the seal out. And then he lifted this up and then the whole module just comes straight out. Right guys, so it looks like you have to, uh, if you can see it, there's like a little uh, silver bit here. He, he uh, sort of grabbed it by that and lifted it out. So if I just carefully grab it, I've not got the uh, steadiest hands or the best equipment. Ah, there we go. And um, that's that. And there is an empty F91W case. So if we just pop that to one side, now I've just got to uh, cover that up and then do the same with this one. And I'm hoping it's actually the uh, the same. Right guys, so actually uh, it just popped out pretty uh, easily. Alright guys, so, um, yeah, it doesn't look like this just pops off easily, uh, so I think what you have to do is remove these four screws at the back, and hopefully that will uh, allow me to take the screen off the uh, module, so uh, let's just give that a try. So I've got me uh, the same screwdriver, and we're just going to take these off, that's one and that's two so i don't know whether this is just gonna if it's holding it all in or if it's just holding the uh the battery in place i don't really know i guess we'll find out in a minute all right so that's the battery off and we'll take that off and that off Alright, so that's the uh, battery removed, so you can see the screen's just gone off now. So now I'm going to have to figure out how to take the screen off without breaking uh, the circuitry at the back. Right guys, so that was actually easier than I thought. Once I uh, took the screws out, you can see that the screen has just popped straight off and then we've got the circuit board just there. So now I'm hoping uh, that the Casio is as easy. So if we pop that to one side, we'll pop that with the uh, skimmy stuff just out of the way. And then now we've got to take the um, display off this. And I think if I remember right, you uh, there's these little clips there. Can you see? Just there. And I think you pop those off and uh, that allows you to take the screen off the circuit board. If this, I don't know if this is going to work. So I've potentially just broken two watches if <laughs> this is not going to work so let's just try this so i think you can just get some tweezers and then you just uh you know pop uh those latches off so i'm gonna do that off camera now because it's a little bit awkward to uh like try and do this through the uh, actual viewfinder all right guys so we've managed to do that and then this should just uh come off quite easily now uh so uh Oh god, this is really yeah, dismantled. Right, there's just one more that hasn't clipped off, so I just need to clip that off. So you just get your tweezers, and uh, you just lift this little metal bracket off the thing there, and that should be it. It should have uh, should come off. And no, it hasn't. Right. And there is the Casio screen. So now we've got to do a screen swap see if it works i don't think this is because looking at both the circuitry look at how different they are so i don't know if the skimmy is going to work with the casio but we're going to give it a go right, so this is the skimmy and then we're going to pop that on there and hopefully it'll work if not oh hang on i've just seen something Right, just one, wait one sec. Right guys, so we've come across a bit of a problem. The screen from the Skimmy doesn't fit on the circuit board of the F91W. So, I think the only thing left to do now is to put the Skimmy back together and hopefully 
the scummy screen and the scummy uh, um, circuit board will actually fit in the Casio case. So that's what I'm going to try next because this just hasn't worked. Um, as you can see, look, we've got this uh, strip here which needs to interface with this here. But as you can see, it doesn't. It doesn't sort of fit. There's like a little post there which lines up, but then um, yeah, it just it just doesn't fit right. So uh, yeah, not really sure what to uh, what to do with that. But anyway, I'll keep trying. Right, guys. So uh, the original plan didn't work. What I was going to do is basically swap the uh, screen from this with the light into onto the module of the F91W. That didn't work, it didn't fit. So I've reassembled the skimmy and it's all working. So now what I'm gonna try and do is get this module to fit inside of this case. So let's give it a try. All right, so if I pop it in, that's the right way up, yep. So hopefully this will work. So if I angle it in, so the buttons uh, can be pressed. And then if I push that in, is it gonna fit? I think it might be a bit too big. So it looks like these parts are not interchangeable, but I'm gonna give it a uh, give it a try. So the so what is happening is the screen from the skimmy and the module is trying to go in the F91W body. That's where I'm at right now. Right guys, so they weren't, uh, the module wasn't fitting in because the pushers were in the way. So, I think, because these pushers are thing I might be able to uh, get these pushers and just push them in a little bit, just to give me a bit more room to get the module in. So, uh, if I just, uh, you know, carefully push them, it should give me a little bit more space to actually get the uh, module in. So fingers crossed, this will work. So let me try it again. Right guys, so we've actually managed to fit the SCMI module in uh, to the F91W body. It was a bit of a pain, these clips here. Um, I've had to sort of like get the tweezers in and push the pushers back out, but it's actually fit. So now I've just got to uh, button it all up, put it back together, and uh, hopefully we'll have a uh, a modded F91W. So, uh, I'm just going to put it back together. Uh, so now we've got the seal back in. Uh, that was really easy to do. Um, tweezers, and then you just uh, line it up. There's like a ridge, and it sits in the other ridge, and then you just gently press it in with the tweezers. And now all that needs to do is uh, the case back needs to go on, which again is just really simple. You just pop that on, and then just uh, screw it in. And there you go. Wow, I've actually done something. Cannot believe it. So anyway, I'm just going to uh, screw it back in. It's a little bit awkward on uh, on camera, but essentially it's just the same as taking it apart, just the other way around. And uh, yeah, we've got a functioning um, Casio mod. So I will show you the results uh, in a minute. Right, guys. So uh, the mod is done. And the reason why I've done this mod and why I've turned the light off is to show you this. Now, you've all seen the Casio F91W illumination. It's rubbish. But now... Da, 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 da. Look at that! Ah, how awesome is that? I mean, is it perfect? No. If you actually squeeze the case in places, um, it doesn't work. So let me just turn the light back on. Right, yeah, so this is the completed uh, mod. And the light's there, then you've got your mode here. The buttons are absolutely atrocious. Now, uh, they're really hard to press, but it still works. And then you've got uh, your 24 hour change there. And then you've got your light there. But yeah, it actually works. But if I squeeze this case in places, it actually activates the buttons inside. So it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it works and it's actually got good illumination now. So I'll just turn the light off again, just to show you. And if I press the illumination, just look at how good that is now compared to the standard Casio. That is just so much better. So I don't know why Casio can't actually, uh, you know, do that on, um, you know, on their proper watches. Because it would make them so much better. But anyway, there we go. There is a very cheap and actually quite easy to do mod. So let me just walk you through what I've done. Uh, I went a little bit beyond what you're actually supposed to do. So essentially all that you do 
is dismantle the F91W, take the uh, module and screen out all together, put that to one side, do the same thing for the skimmy, take it all out, keep it all together, and then basically just put the module screen and everything back into this. Uh, make sure that you push these out so the actual uh, skimmy pushes fit in, and it works. And you can just see it's all functioning. Yeah, like I said, it isn't perfect. Um, so don't do this if you really like your F91W. I actually have uh, loads of these uh, lying around. So that's why I thought, do you know what? Why not Why not do something a little bit different? So anyway, that is, uh, you know, that is pretty much it. Just a uh, actually relatively easy mod to do once you know what you're doing. All that you need is, you know, the right tools, which I'll link in the description for you. But yeah, this is a fun and easy mod that you can do yourself at home. And you can just make your F91W even better. Now, I wish that I could have used the F91W module with the screen from the screen, but they just wouldn't interface together. It just, it didn't work. Uh, so yeah, that's why I've just swapped the modules. So um yeah, that is pretty much it really. Uh, let me know what in the comments what you think of this uh, hybrid watch. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. And of course, follow me on social media at Mr. Budget Watch. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.